Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from Sun and Fun 2021. Bless me, Father, but I haven't done one of these shows in about 18 months and having to relearn some things like how to work the cameras. Anyway, I'll show you some uh, B roll here, swing the camera around. Moderately crowded here, the hangars are kind of full. And you may recall that a year ago, Piper certified Garmin's Autoland in its uh, M-Class airplane, specifically the M600, which has the Garmin G3000 in it. And you may not realize they've never shown it at a aviation show of any kind. So this is the first here at Sun Fun. And I talked to Brian Elliott about how they're doing with the airplane, which turns out to be pretty well. Yeah, so the M600 SLS was introduced in uh, 2000, the fall of 2019. Um, and that's when we partnered with Garmin and launched the Halo package, uh, which features Garmin Autoland. So the current Autoland system works off a number of ways. One is the pilot activated button that's located inside the cockpit. Uh, the other way, the aircraft will descend if the cabin is over 15,000 feet. Um, and when it reaches 15,000 feet, it'll activate Autoland system. The other way is if level mode is activated for more than uh, two minutes, it'll activate Autoland sequence, which basically shows that the pilots become incapacitated and uh, no longer technically in control of the airplane. Yeah, Piper, in, in 2019, we took a stance at Piper that we were going to um, really add as many safety features into the SLS uh, as possible. And one of the, or the, the main feature is the Autoland system. I think it's been very positive. Um, we, we seem to have a customer base that is um, always seeking the, the latest advancement in technology um, and it, it, ex, they expect that as a standard feature of the aircraft. Of, of the aircraft. We haven't had any that, that, that have requested it without it. We've seen a real positive impact on the Autoland system uh, specifically with people's wives. Um, um, when, when someone's wife hears that, that, the, that the aircraft will land itself, they, they basically tell their husband that that's the airplane that we're going to buy. We need that. So it's, it's kind of gone from want to buy an airplane to need to buy that airplane. So standard features, we have, auto, or we have uh, Fiki, uh, DI system, um, air conditioning. Uh, the, the Halo system itself comes standard with uh, synthetic vision, um, uh, flight stream 510, and a number of other safety features that we have through, uh, through Garmin. With regards to uh, performance, we have max speed. The uh, M600 is 274 knots max speed, a uh, range of over 1,600 nautical miles. Um, useful load is over two, uh, useful load is over 2,400 pounds. Um, in 2019, there was a slight price increase, but standard CPI was basically applied to that. But yeah, the, uh, the Halo system did not really uh, have a large price increase with it. Currently, the um, Autoland system is only available in the M600 but I think we can see uh, a future with, with Garmin introducing these kind of safety features in other uh, platforms.